I leave with a smile on my face every day. And it's hard work, um, but I love it. I probably spend more time in this job than I ever did as an engineer. As an engineer, I was working on, you know, how do I make this process better? How do I improve? This, this pump is failing. I got to figure out why. What is, the, what is the issue there? And that was truly fun, but this has names attached to it. Every one of these students that I work this job for, I know that it's down to me to make sure that I make that connection for them. Ben is more than passionate. He is dedicated and he is willing to do anything in the classroom or outside of the classroom to, to develop his message and share it with everybody. And his message is there's a better way to teach American students and every child in America deserves a top-notch education. When I was an engineer, I was either directly or indirectly responsible at many of the locations I worked across the country for uh, hiring talent. And we came across the same problem again and again. People just couldn't think critically, couldn't solve problems, couldn't communicate. Um, and so these, you know, here you, these buzzwords about 21st century skills and all that, well, I lived it. Because that kept happening, it told me there's something fundamentally wrong with how we're preparing young people. I'm going to put you in a situation where you're going to have to collaborate. And no longer is that called cheating, it's called you work with your peers in whatever form that takes for you to truly understand what's going on. Before I came here to the early college, I had like a lot of issues with um, like math and um, after I like struggling through his class last year, because it is hard and like, you know, we have to get through a lot, but it helped me um, like, set goals and like really work towards something. And that inspired me like this year, especially like just to go above and beyond in everything I do, like regardless of like whether it's school or just like something in life. When students leave us and go on to a university level, and most of them do. That it is amazing how many of them come back and thank Mr. Owens for what he did for them and, and how far ahead they feel they are compared to most of their peers and how confident they are because of what he taught them. Last year's graduating class, I'll use them as an example, there were 97% of them who hit one of our target populations, which means lower socioeconomic status or um, underrepresented minority. Out of that group, 69% of them, 69% out of that group went into a STEM related field. Yes, and, and that I feel strongly that it is a direct result of Mr. Owens. It's incredible. It just means that we at this school have changed the economic vector for this student for the rest of their life. And I know there's other schools out there that can claim that and, you know, and schools all over this country are doing great things. But I know here for the six teachers we have and the wonderful staff we have that we are impacting the life of every student that we interact with and changing how they can see success for the rest of their life. And that's, that's what every school should be doing.